Vincent Willem van Gogh was born on March 30, 1853, in Grootzundert, Holland. He grew up in his hometown near the Belgian border and attended school there until 1869. Through his uncle, a renowned art dealer in The Hague, Vincent van Gogh gained his first insights into the painting of contemporary artists and began his professional career. But his career as an art dealer came to an abrupt end when his successor unexpectedly dismissed him before he could return home. Nevertheless, Van Gogh stayed in London and worked as a teaching assistant, living in a poor neighborhood and suffering under the harsh conditions of the streets. This brought him to the brink of collapse. Finally, in December 1876, he returned to his parents and decided to study theology. However, after a year, he realized that his religious beliefs and his conception of God were incompatible and dropped out of the program. Instead, he moved to Borinage in Belgium to work as an itinerant preacher, but his zeal and noble desire to help others led to his own destruction. His dedication to his fellow human beings drove him to give away not only his clothing, but also his food to those in need. In 1878, he returned to his parents to devote himself solely to painting. It was during this time that Van Gogh created his first significant works. After a dispute with his parents, he left the family home in 1881 without any money and was supported by his brother Theo in The Hague. After reconciling with his family, he began to achieve modest success with portraits of farmers in 1884. However, in 1885, his father unexpectedly passed away and Vincent Van Gogh decided to move to Paris and work there inspired by the French art scene. During his further studies, he encountered personalities from the art scene such as Paul Gauguin. Despite his outstanding works, he encountered difficulties in selling them. Vincent van Gogh fell into fits of rage and found solace in alcohol. In 1888, he left Paris and moved to southern France to settle in Arles. His stated goal was to establish an artist colony in collaboration with Paul Gauguin. After a short time, the two had such violent disputes that Van Gogh, armed with a knife, attacked his friend. Afterwards, he cut off his own right ear and separated from him. Fearing he was losing his mind, he voluntarily admitted himself to a mental asylum in St. Remy in 1889, where he suffered from hallucinations. During his one-year stay, the Dutchman created about 160 oil paintings and drawings. In 1890, Van Gogh accepted an invitation from his friend Camille Pissarro to come to Auvers-sur-Oise, northwest of Paris. 